Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. We're uh, we're back online, we're going to be playing some Dune 2 again. Uh, let's just have a look, see if there's anybody around to say hello to. Not just yet, but that's okay because uh, people drop by from time to time. And that's very nice. If anybody would like to say hello, please do. Um, if you are seeing any problems or hearing any problems with the stream, do let me know and I'll, I'll do my best to, to rectify them. Um, while we um, get started here, I'm just going to do a little, um, a little recap on uh, my progress with the game. So if you joined us before, um, the last two uh, streams I did, I think I did two on back-to-back -back days, because I was so frustrated with the um, the level of, of the game that I was trying to play. Um, I just wanted to get through it, and I didn't complete it on those two um, attempts. But on a subsequent um, playthrough in my own time, off stream, um, I did. I did manage to record it, though. So this is just like the last five minutes of the third mission. Um, and I'll just uh, talk us through that a little bit. So this isn't live gameplay, this is a, this is a pre-recording, um, just to catch everybody up on where I got to. And then we'll have a look at Mission 4 live. So, there we go. So you can see this is my base here. Um, so this is, this is a really late stage of the mission. It did take me like uh, an hour and 20 minutes, I think, to get there in the end. What I'd done is I decided to build, you just saw there, I decided to build uh, spice refineries far off to the east um, to try and avoid the notice of the Atreides, who are the competitors on this map. Um, I build up my resources so that I could just keep churning out these, um, these vehicles that you see, the trikes, um, and just keep sending them to where I knew their base to be. And it took Oh, it took like seven, seven probably like seven trikes um, over about the course of five minutes just to destroy one installation, I'd say. And I probably, at this by this point, I probably destroyed about six installations easily. Um, there's just a couple of spice silos to go. Um, so for what felt like a very long time, I was just sort of toggling backwards and forwards between my base, where I was mostly just repairing the things that were under attack. Um, because there were these kind of immovable bank of quads that I couldn't quite overcome and occasionally building um, new trikes. I'd try and prioritise sending them uh, up to the enemy base if I could um, but I'd also try and fill in where I needed a little bit of extra protection around my base um, and because damage is slow, so slow to be sustained um, against any of these structures um, in, in either way, so against mine or against theirs um, you can afford to leave them for a few minutes um, before coming back to repair them. But it's kind of a, a switch between checking on where the harvesters has ended up, because I'd ended up with, I think, four spice refineries in the end. One here that you can see on the screen right now, um, near my initial base, and I think three off to the east, um, one slightly spaced away from the other two. Um, which worked pretty well in the early game, but when there was lots of spice close by, by them, uh, but not not so well afterwards. Yes, sir. And yeah, so you can see me. I period periodically come back to make sure that they were still attacking things because I wasn't quite sure the visual indications aren't quite there to show whether the um, the vehicles are constantly attacking or whether they sort of do it for a while, then get a bit bored and decide to do something else. So I was never quite too sure about that. Um, I don't know if the... I think that I'd made the discovery on stream at one point. But I think my most joyous discovery in this process was finding out that you can use the harvesters to run over troops who aren't in a vehicle. If they're just a, um, a single troop or a squad of three troops, they're just sort of walking around, you can just get your harvester and move it manually over them. And it will just, just run them down. Which was... Uh, a, interesting that you could use it in that tactical way um, but otherwise I found it a real this level a real grind um, just to get through um, because I thought I was sort of playing it cautiously initially and I thought well I, no I've got to go in hard on the attack so what I did was build trikes as fast as or as soon as I could rather 
um, and sent them right up to their base. But then that just drew their fire, and they were already better equipped um, and better armed than I was. So they just took me out on those runs. So um, I, I looked, I did a little bit of research into the game to see if I was missing anything in particular. Um, and it seems that House Ordos, who I've picked, are probably the the not the easiest ones to start the game with. They don't seem to have the the strong offensive options that House Harkin or House Atreides do. Um, so I'd, I'd hampered myself there. There you go. I successfully completed the mission because the silos eventually fell. Um, so all I had to do was destroy their structures, but not all their troops. So here you'll see uh, my uh, uh, my congratulations from my mentor. So yeah, some, there's a little suggestion of story between missions here, so that there was some that I've got to lay my moral objections aside um, to be a ruthless in battle. Um, so that's kind of, gives it a little bit of interesting colour anyway. But otherwise, it's quite a um, quite an abstract thing that you're doing. So I um, I proceed. I think I can enter my um, score here. It gives me a bit of a, a rundown on um, how I did. So you can see that as well. And there you go, Sand Warrior. I think I might have been a Sand Warrior already. I'm not sure. Um, these stats are going to be pretty close, I think, when we have a look at them. Yeah, so I harvested a, a tiny bit more than the enemy. Um, and they destroyed far more of my things than I destroyed of theirs. Apart from buildings, I suppose. Um, and yeah, you see it's 1 hour and 21 minutes it took me to do the, the complete run through of that. Um, so I, yeah, so I'm still standing for you. Uh, score of 122, I don't know what you do to get a higher score. Maybe, yeah, I guess it's perhaps the, the amount of spice you harvest, the amount you destroy of the enemy's uh, stuff is, is what matters. Um, and there's just a map pivot here, so you can sh I can show you where I picked to go next. So the map changes. Um, House of Trade seems to be suffering, I guess, because that's the one I chose to battle against. And I choose the, um, I think, the bottom most of these. Um, I think I sort of reason that I'll, I'll start at the bottom and work my way up. And then thinking that mm, eventually it might just be me and the Harkonnens rather than a three-way tie. Yeah, so that's loading in. So that's going to be the end of this video. That's going to fade out in a sec. And then we'll get back to the live um, game. We'll have a look at the, uh, the fourth mission. Excuse me while I get a little bit more comfortable there. Um, yeah, so while that's doing, I'll do a little bit of disc swapping behind the scenes so that we can... Uh, get to where we need to go. Oh no, let's press that one. There we go. Fab. Alright, so that's that's faded out. So let's fade back in on this one. So we should hopefully see um, the Amiga emulator come up in just a sec. Here we go. I guess I can hear the audio for that. Fab. Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully that should, should be alright. I It's hard to get a good balance with this game because there's no I've no slider controls for the the sound, so the music tends to be too quiet and the sound effects tend to be too loud. Um, but other than making everything too quiet um, or turning everything on or off, there's not a lot I can do about that. Dune. So as part of my um, my research into this game, uh, so I'll, I'll let you know a little bit behind the the scenes of what I've been up to here. I've been um, playing this uh, obviously on stream uh, mostly, and um, I've also been having a look at the um, the other Dune game that was released by Virgin in 1992, um, developed by Cryo, um, just called Dune. That's why this one's called Dune 2, which is kind of a um, an adventure strategy hybrid, and is a lot uh, a lot different to this really, although. So they've got some traits in common. So I've been uh, recording little bits of that to um, eventually make a video for my YouTube channel 
um, and I th also booted up the, the DOS version of Dune 2 um, because that was I believe the first first version released and it's um, it's a it's a fuller experience I chose the Amiga um, because I was doing the Amiga version of Dune as well um, so I thought it'd be interesting to do it side by side that way and this is very much a very stripped back um, it's kind of bare minimum affair when compared to the, the DOS version uh, because the DOS version has a, a f much fuller soundtrack um, and a lot more audio responses so more voice clips for the actions that you perform like notifications of when an enemy is approaching and from where they're approaching um, audio feedback um, as your um, credit amount changes at the top you get like a little ticker um, to go with the, the sliding numbers um, and yeah, yeah, it's a, it's more more fully voiced and more fully um, uh, realised as an audio experience for sure. Otherwise, it looks and performs exactly the same. So functionally, this um, this version is is pretty much the same as far as I can see. Um, it's just a bit more stripped stripped back. Um, probably to get it on a. Um, on a series of discs, um, floppy disks for the Amiga, um, rather than on a, a CD-ROM for the the uh, DOS computers at the time. Um, but yeah, so I th what I'm thinking of doing is uh, I'm going to play a little bit more today. This might be my last session because I don't know um, how much I enjoyment I'm going to get out of pursuing June two further. Because um, I think I was heading towards a point <laughs> during the. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. Oh dear, how do I get back? Can I get back? Probably not. Let's let's pick a thing and then I'll I'll do a thing. So the, uh, while I'm wittering on, uh, this could be running in the background. Um, I think it's going to be loading up. Yeah, here we go. Uh, yes, the point I was trying to get to, I think, while the um, recap video was playing a minute ago, um, was that while I eventually got to the end, it didn't feel like a very satisfying victory uh, because it, it was such a struggle to get there. I never felt like I got to a point where I was on top of the situation and um, I'd kind of had the right strategy and executing the right strategy uh, meant it was a convincing victory. Um, so for me, that that wasn't a very satisfying experience. So I'm just loading in this mission here, but that's not actually where I want to go. I want to load a game, and I pressed the wrong, I pressed the wrong menu option. So what I will do is first opportunity I get, I will um, load up my save game, and what we'll do is we'll have a look at the fourth mission for House Ordos. Here we go. So let's just take a second to to load up is that these transitions do take a little bit longer on the Amiga. And yeah, here we go, fourth mission. So let me get my mouse back in on track. Yeah, that will take a second too, unfortunately. Um, but in a, just a sec, we'll be, we'll be loading that up. Um, I saved it just just as the mission began, but what I'll do is I'll restart it so you can see the mission briefing as well. So you can absolutely start from scratch. I don't know, I guess the other thing is, um, I don't know how long these missions are going to take. So this, is my, so this is my first time playing the game, obviously, um, and the, the previous mission uh, took me um, an hour and 20 minutes, my best attempt to, um, to complete it. Um, and presumably they're only going to get more complex as they go on. So I, I, I don't know how, how easy this is going to fit into a stream really. Um, so I went um, last last Wednesday stream uh, and I went far over what I expected to do because I was determined to to beat it and I uh, I didn't beat it. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna still try and finish at um, nine o'clock my time which is about an hour and a quarter away um, so yeah I mean if it, if it fits into like an hour and 20 minutes kind of situation 
then all, all good and well, but we might have to check out at that point. Okay, here we go. The Atreides forces in this area must be eliminated. Go on. As always, we appreciate your capture of any enemy silos or other structures that might be salvageable. Now there's a thing, because I haven't found a way to capture anything yet, so is that a new mechanic? I expect that is. So, pretty much same as last time. Destroy enemy forces or capture them. Um, so we'll have to have a look at what our options are. Hopefully we can build some new stuff. I'm thinking we might be able to build troops that have... Uh, oh, here we go. Here's the first new thing. Is that straight off the bat we can upgrade our construction yard. Need structure upgrade. Upgrade cost to... Whoa, large concrete. Interesting. Okay, so show me things that I could build with the upgrade. Even though I haven't got the upgrade yet. Interesting. So... When it says large lab, does that mean that you can just place four at once? Which would make building a lot faster. Um, what does that cost? 20, which is same as same unit cost of five. Um, interesting. Well, I'm going to do, I'm going to get the power station up and running first of all. Construction complete. What I'll do is I'll, I think. Construction at this point I will get um, a power power station up so that we could continue from there but then what I'll do is I'll send um, some trikes on a mission I think once we've done that just to scout the area out because we can always um, restart that's something I also discovered um, last last mission if you um, have like a dummy run, because there's no there's no cost to restarting your mission, uh, other than I guess your own um, sense of satisfaction if you want to do it without doing that. Um, but yes, there's absolutely no reason not to um, acknowledge to do this. Well, yeah, there was an option I wanted to check actually. Um, Playing around with the DOS version in the game controls, auto scroll was off, which now I understand it means that if you can hover. Oh, it's different on the Amiga. Interesting. Oh, so it's just turned off, which actually is, is fine for me. I think. Oh, no, 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 it does work. It was just taking time to make the adjustment. Yeah. So instead of. When you hover towards the edge of the um, the map screen, the main map screen, um, and you get the shorter arrow, um, it would automatically scroll before. But now you have to click, hold down, and click, click and hold down um, for that to be true still. Which actually I find more usable. Um, so I'll leave it as that because okay, we know there's spice here. That's cool. So you go directly north. There's spice. Um, what we're looking for is is the enemy. So they were, I'm guessing they're going to be up north somewhere. Um, because there's so much more space on the mini map, if you can see, uh, north of where we are compared to um, either side. Or, um, crikey, this is a big map, isn't it? So, um, I think, like... I'm going to turn my volume up a bit so I can hear some of these audio cues a bit better because it's quite quiet for me. Oh, hello. There's a uh, there's one there. Oh, hello. What's that? A tank. Do I get to build tanks, please? Right, well, this suggests to me that uh, I'm, both that I'm in trouble and that the enemy might be somewhere up here. Oh, yeah, this definitely looks like the enemy's up here. Tanks. I can't believe there's tanks. That's very rude. Okay, uh, can I? Yes, sir. That's it. So the sniper there, is it? I think that's gonna blow up in a sec. But no, yeah, never mind. We got a fair Ricky done, didn't we? 
Okay. All right, so then let's go back down. So our base is going to be under attack now in fairly short order. Yes, sir. But let's get this one to go up to somewhere up here. We can just check out this area. Um, ah, there's one there as well. So maybe this kind of area. So it looks like they might be just kind of due north, maybe a little bit east of where we are. Which is um, not too different to what's going on in the last map, although I think the scale of this map is indeed greater. I think that's probably going to be a feature as well, as um, as you progress. The difficulty gets greater through complexity and through the, the scale of the map, so you're, you're competing on as well. Worm sign, I mean, worm sign could be a problem, but I'm not really going to worry about it at this point. So I know there's lots of spice up there, which is handy. Enemy unit approaching. Yeah, that's okay. There's quite a good peninsula of rock here, which is nice. Um, and might be where they're they're based. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. Oh, okay, the rock disappears there. Interesting. got to be around here somewhere. How close are we to the, um, we're quite close to the, oh hello, there's some rock here. Could they be on this bit? Loads of tanks, they, well, um, they have lots of emplacements, let's say. Ah, hang on, that could be a, um, this could be a bit of their building, couldn't it? Ah, I didn't get to see. Alright, I bet it's there, so it's kind of, Northeast would be my guess. So we'll have to do what we were, um, what we did before, really. It's going to be the same kind of routine. Find a good spice source. Um, yes, I might as well do that now, actually, while I've still got a bit of time. Yes, Rude. I mean, I'm in lots of trouble if a tank gets here, but. Right, any spice around the south? Oh, we're right near the south already. Yes, oh, look, you, you. Okay, looks like there might be a teeny bit of spice here. Oh, it's not bad actually. That would keep that would keep harvesters busy for a while. At least um, in the initial. And going over southwest is probably a good idea to avoid um, yes, too much attention. So actually, our resources are um, pretty good. I suppose the thing I ought not to overlook is that yes, it's entirely possible the enemy would have more than one base. I'm hoping that's not what we're facing uh, on the fourth stage. Ooh, yeah. If you keep going west, you just keep hitting. Spice, so that's very good to know. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Yeah, yes. Ooh, can I let's load again. <laughs> let's load it in. We'll um we'll start again. Uh now I've got a bit of a sense of the lay of the land, and um, we'll give it another, give it another whirl. I'll just take a second. Okay. Well, I I feel reasonably confident from my past experience that I um I've got a a process to get there. Oh, you know, the other thing I've just realised: this decorative border here. I think the um, the gold remains, but the other signature colour changes depending on what house you're representing. Uh, I think when I booted up and tried House of Trades, that was blue. That's a nice little detail. So we know then northerly, so we well, we want to get constructing some uh, 
some of this concrete first, don't we? So we kind of want to put our resources away from them if we can. That's my feeling. Like, kind of, I got away with making my very remote harvest station um, previously, and they there were three of them that completely avoided anybody's attention, uh, which was was good. I don't know if that's a, a prudent strategy. Probably not. Um, but I might go for something similar again. Construction complete. I'm going to place that there. Yes, I'm going to move you south. Acknowledge. And let's get some more concrete going. Yes, yeah, so we can get our radar station and our spice refinery and everything. Which is good. Complete. So I think my inclination now is to build a radar station so we can kind of keep track of everything because especially as thank you especially as the map is larger um, than ever it will be good to be able to keep a remote eye on things so we can still see our little green dots on this this mini map here which would be really helpful as things get a bit fraught so let's build this radar station outpost And then next order of business will be harvesting that spice. Construction complete. So we'll get that map zap in. It's cool that um remembers where you've been even if uh Ooh nice, there's a lot, isn't there? Even if um you did it before you booked your radar station, it still remembers where you've you've been to map it on, which is really nice. So actually there's probably quite a generous deposit there, isn't there? Um, does this... Acknowledge. Okay, so there's... I don't know if there's much of a peninsula to... Acknowledge. Build along. We probably want to build southerly, I imagine. You're the little explorer. I'm gonna get some uh, some concrete going. So what? I'll... Oh, hello. What's this? Base defense wall. Interesting. That's a new thing. I have to decide how I feel about those. Right. So I'm gonna build a little concrete path. Which now I've now I know about it. It's quite a cool little um, workaround from everything having to be adjacent, um, and I appreciate. Uh, so I think, yeah, I'll put one of my spice refineries here. Construction complete. Um, with the aid of some. Concrete. Construction complete. Fab. Um, and then thanks. I will. I will put that. I don't want to send my little buddy over here or too far off just yet before things are in progress in case I trigger some some events that I don't want to happen yet. There we go. So that that little harvester should quite easily be able to to find. Are oh, you going to go off that way? Fair enough. Not not what I would have thought, but you're fine. Okay, let's continue mapping yes, this way then. Acknowledge. Because if there's actually quite a lot of resource around here, then it might be worth expanding in this direction too. It looks like probably not. Acknowledge. Lots of rock, which is great for building, but Acknowledge. not lots of. I guess the spice 
over in this far corner. But then I think the um Acknowledged. Our friends the Atreides. Um, and that's definitely friends in quotation marks. Uh I, I might get there before we do, so I think we should stick to our side. Over here. Um uh, maybe work out if we can get anywhere this way. So let's get our friend to come back over here to, to here. Um, just let things sort of tick by. Oh, that one's a quad, apparently. Oh yeah, some are quads. Could I build quads in this round? If I was so inclined? I wonder. Ah, okay, so I've got a list bigger than can fit on the screen, so I've got to bear that in mind at this time. Remember that I can uh, build more than I can view at one go. How much do these defense walls cost? 50? And they're just one square each. Okay. Hmm, okay. Um, and infantry barracks. So what I'm hoping is that I could probably build an infantry barracks and then upgrade it to produce, I don't know, people who are infiltrators or saboteurs. Um, that's kind of what I'm hoping. So is the large concrete slab the only thing that you need an upgraded base to build at this point? Well, that's interesting because that's, that's quite a large outlay relative to the, the benefit from it. How's this half to do? 60% full, that's pretty good. And there's still loads of loads of spice around, so we should be fine harvesting there. Are you coming back? I'm I'm sort of semi-convinced also that these these vehicles don't really move until you find them on screen, and then they actually seem to be moving. Um, but it might just be because they go so slow. There we go. You're here. Thanks. Um, just let's have a cautious little peek up here. Um, there's some a sort of this kind of brown rock, as I found out before, is kind of well, not that defensible really. I think it, it prevents vehicles from getting close to you. Um, individual troopers can um, can get there, uh, can get onto that rock. Uh, but the vehicles, the vehicles can't get onto it, but they can shoot past it normally, which is interesting. Um, so I could build a refinery there, couldn't I? Is my money going up? Oh, nice. Okay, well, that's what we'll do then. We'll build a refinery in this corner here too. Um, that should take advantage of some of this spice resource, I think. That's probably as far northerly as we want to go at the moment. Complete. And then once that money's um, trickling in a bit, a bit more, Construction complete. I guess we can decide what we're going to build next. Complete. Probably um, more vehicles. Maybe I'll try um, infantry barracks just to see, just to see if I can do anything interesting with it. Have a look at that little. I was doing that bit now. Perfect. That's what I would have wanted. Construction complete. Construction. I do find I don't mind um, micromanaging the the troops and the, the combat vehicles. Um, that seems quite natural, but it's it is quite frustrating when you have to keep rerouting the harvesters because they keep going off in uh, random directions. Or just sitting there not harvesting anything. Uh, if you're distracted with battle somewhere else, your harvest is sitting there idle. It's not an ideal state of affairs. Um, because your income could quite quickly decline. Okay, spice refinery.
Construction complete. Thanks. Um, I've kind of learned that. Oh, interesting. That was not what I intended to do, and it hasn't got one square on the concrete. So it's probably going to need repairing quite often. Ah. Oh well. Miss clicks. Unfortunately, you can't destroy anything. That would be an, would have been an interesting um, addition, a useful bit of flexibility. Okay, well let's have a look at, let's check out these walls then, shall we? Um, I don't know how good they'll be. We can try and put a wall along the top here maybe um, for some extra, complete. extra defense. The wall is used for passive defense. Yeah, fair enough. Ooh, so that was a bit of a weird perpendicular to what I'm protecting. I wonder if I put another one there for oh yes. It kinda knows what it's doing then. That's cool. Um Yes sir. Let's move that to there. Technology. So I've got like a Yes sir. Yeah, so I've got the the higher power quads and um troops. What if I move those troops to say the high ground. I don't know if they'd... It'd be nice if yes, there's like a mechanic where they can shoot further from high ground. That would be fantastic. Um, but I've no evidence that that's yes, a thing that's implemented. Yes, Alright, you buddy. Um, you move down here. I don't think we can put concrete on sand, right? I don't think that's a thing. It wouldn't be a prudent thing in real life, I don't think. So it's unlikely to. Well, actually, there are lots of unlikely things that uh, are the game mechanics in games, so I won't rule it out on that basis. Okay. One thing I would say about the um, Amiga version that we're playing right now over the um, the DOS version is that while there's lots more music, um, a lot more dynamic sound in the DOS version. Um, it's very fraught. I mean, when you so there's kind of a passive music, which is a lot more um, uh, a lot more musically involved than the ambient track that we're hearing at the moment. Um, and when you get into combat, there's um, some really really stressful yes, <laughs> combat music that starts playing. Um, and it's not very good at stopping, even though combat has sort of officially stopped. Acknowledged. Um, which I found incredibly stressful, actually. I um, so I kind of prefer this this chill ambient soundtrack. It's just kind of a few chords. Um, yes, it's a lot. It's a lot more chill, especially for this. Oh, I don't do that. Just move. There's nothing to attack. Acknowledged. Especially for this portion of the game where. You're just building and resource gathering. Yes, sir. Um, I find it a lot more pleasant and more pleasant to stream too. All right, so we know about lots of this stuff, which is good. Um, there's not much point building over there really, other than to kind of save a bit of space. How are we doing um, power-wise? That's something to keep in mind, isn't it? It uh, needed 90 up at 94, so we could do with some more power actually. Um, where will I put a power station? Spice storage low, build silos. Thanks for that tip, actually. That's helpful. Um, right, so I've got cash. Let's. Shall we? Shall we do it? Shall we get the upgrade? Let's do it. Let's throw caution to the wind and see if this actually saves us anything in terms of time or it's not saving us anything in terms of money. That's for sure. Construction complete. Yeah, yeah. So you get four for the the price of one, really. That's pretty handy. Um, so I pop a four there, and uh, maybe pop a four. Construction complete. There? Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yes, sir. Gonna get one of those guarding over there. 
Um, right, so what was I building? Power station. Uh, which must be over here somewhere. So I'm going to go, I think order of business is second power station, silo. Um, and there should be enough um, surplus power for us to get investing in vehicles and troops, hopefully. So I think the map is of sufficient size that um, the Atreides aren't likely to discover us for a while, by the looks of it. So, how do I get this silo? Which one's... Is that a silo? That's a silo. And it's pretty cheap to build, that's good. Okay, they're really hoovering up this side of the map, aren't they? Construction complete. Enemy unit approaching. Oh, hello. Is anybody going to attack? I mean, not you. Obviously, you're going to attack. Are any of my troops going to attack? Yes, sir. Attacking my power station is very rude. Oh, and you're there as well. Yes, sir. You go run these guys over, please. Do you find the, um, the explosion of gunfire sounds pretty intense too? Um, given that they're much louder than everything else. Well, I don't know. While we're being. Thanks, Harvester. While we're being bombarded, I'm going to turn the volume down a bit on the game sound because that's too loud. Oh, hello. Phew! Okay, we're back. Uh, Oh, we're doing pretty good. Oh, thanks for the replacement. Got a replacement vehicle there. Alright, you can harvest again now. Whoa, hang on, I got a tank! Yeah, I think you buried the buried the lead there. Kind of hoping I get to build my own tanks at some point, but that might be a, a distant dream in this level. Might just be a preview of things that I can get if I keep playing long enough. Okay, so we said we were going to do... We're doing great for power. So we're going to do troops, didn't we? So let's do that. Let's get... I'm going to space things out a bit so there's kind of paths between. Because that seems to give the AI a better chance to... Do its job. And we'll get one of these lovely squares of four. I'll go for vehicles first because they, they do seem to be more useful on the whole. Um, so I'll let that flicker into life and then so I can upgrade that so would that then build quads as we seem to have quads in this no just fast rate of trike still oh, hang on you can let it oh you can choose what it builds Oh man. Well now I know. <laughs> now I know there's that mechanic. I could have been doing that last mission possibly. And I was just turning out trikes. Well, you live and you learn. Um let's carry on with the uh the uh building uh for a barracks. Yeah, so Oh, well that's a little bit uh, galling. I could have possibly been churning out quads and 
Oh, where from? Uh oh, they found us. Okay, this is oh with a tank. Oh my! All right, this is where it starts getting a bit hairy. Okay, are we ready to place that? Let's place that. Fantastic! And then we'll get that. Hello, what's this? Heavy vehicle factory. You say? Uh, I think we're going to get that. There isn't enough open concrete to place the structure. May oh, okay. How I didn't. Does it take six? It takes six. Okay. That's me not paying attention. Uh, right. Uh, construction yard concrete. So yeah, it's we're likely to see a constant influx of enemy units now, unfortunately. That seems to be kind of how gameplay goes. Which is uh yeah. I think at the point at which it turns into a slog for me is when you're just sort of constantly in a turnover of um Constantly in a turnover of um, uh, defense and attack, just enough defense to get by, enough to attack to be making a difference. Um, right, let's get this going. So this is probably going to be able to make tanks, I would think. Tracked vehicles, yeah, that would make sense. How are the harvesters doing? Are there any? Yeah, they're not just sitting by idle, which is great. that tank doing? Okay. What's our... Okay. We've still got enough energy for our current um, usage. Uh, right, so let's see what it can build. Whoa, a standard can build a combat tank. Whoa, we need a structure upgrade. A mobile construction vehicle. And a spice harvester. Oh my goodness. That's a bit of a game changer, isn't it? Wow. Oh, and I can upgrade from in this menu as well. That's very handy. Um, well, let's just get a tank for now. Whoa, this is, this is all a bit of a game changer, isn't it? So... Oh, hang on. Am I? I think I'm getting my own guys to attack my own tank, which uh, it's not great. I forgot that was my tank. Okay, I I do apologise, tank. You are nearly destroyed. Um, that was entirely my fault because I got confused between what had been my tank. And the enemies. Oops. Uh, apologies there. Okay. Uh, I think we're doing all right. I think we probably need to start building down here. So. So the money's trickling in pretty steadily, which is actually really good. Um, we seem to have a little reprieve from enemy attacks at the moment. So I'm going to get a third power station because I think we're going to need it. Um, I suspect the power usage of the heavy vehicle factory is going to be quite high. If that is indeed a factor, I suspect it is. 
So I'm going to get another power station, then I'll get the troops in. And I suspect I can train different kinds of troops if I look into that. Which would be fabulous. Harvesters, how you doing? You see, you're still cleaning up there, which is nice. Okay, I think our guys can take those out. They're kind of facing the wrong way, but they might get there eventually. Well done. Yeah, there we go. A few well time shots. I think the tanks make a big difference there. Okay, power. Great, we're doing fine for power. Um, we need a little bit more concrete, I think. Okay. Alright, I'm going to allow myself 40 more minutes of of play time, I think. And yeah, I think kind of the deciding factor is um, how easy is it going to be to go on the offensive? Because that's going to be the turning point for us as to whether we can we can actually get anywhere with this. Um, I guess I can put spice storage anywhere, can't I? It doesn't really matter. Um, so we'll do that at some point. Oh, was there an enemy unit? Oh, there apparently. Okay. Um, what was I doing? I lost track of my plans. I think I'm just going to build Build that barracks, I can find out about that next. Spice is lost. Oh, okay. Well, I... Oh, I, hang on. I wonder why I can't place that. Is it because that part of the map isn't revealed? Or is it because there's an obstacle there? Okay, we might be having some continuous uh, issues here. Okay, so I do need to build spice storage. You need to go off and harvest. Over here. Oh, hello, what are you doing over there? You can just be kind of in the middle there, that'd be nice. Um, we're doing... what are we doing? Are you exploring over here? Thanks. Thanks for very slowly doing that. Ah, oh, there's a rock there. Alright, well that explains that. It's good to know about the rock. Um, yeah, it's always good to know about the rock. So I should have place that just south of there. The, no? Is there a rock there as well? Maybe. Yes, there is. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, we were building the barracks, I believe. Or oh, how's this little battle doing? Okay, I think that tank's still standing. They must be um, pretty hardy, which is good. So when this um, barracks is done, we'll, we'll put it in place first of all. And then... What I'll do is I will... Um, Work out where to put the spice storage. I guess it could go next next to the barracks, couldn't it? Really, that would make sense. Purples, Sardalka, the Imperial. Why are the Imperial troops here? The emp the Emperor is not playing fair. That's this is pretty shifty of the game. I will I will be honest. This is pretty darn shifty. Introducing a third party. My goodness. You were not invited to the party. No, you can't you can't be the Harkonnens plus one. For one thing, there's more than one of you. Right, so this could go here, right? Hang on, what are you? Hopefully they're only in that one place and not anywhere else. Oh. 
I think there's only... Okay, so there's that one left who's not. And this Harkonnens. Well, that's pretty ropey, isn't it? Let's uh, build another tank, shall we? Don't think that will hurt. Um, so in the meantime, yeah, we've still got cash, which is good. I'm not having to worry about cash, which um, is a real benefit. What are we building again? A silo? A silo. Let's build that. So the other... Um, great. Last mission. Um, the Atreides had... Um, I think we're getting them. Uh, the Atreides had lots of silos. That's what I was trying to say. Um, so I guess they must have had lots of spice coming in. Great, let's move this tank. Come up here, tank. Hang on, I've got two tanks there. Fantastic. Um, should I do some more walls? I don't know if it's worth it, to be honest. The... Uh, the um, construction yard hasn't taken much damage so far, has it? Alright, so we're doing okay. Okay. We got cash. Great. Um, let's repair that. How much does the upgrade cost? What the heck was that? It's my, one of my structures was destroyed. Where? What? Where did these guys come from? Oh, this is a bit much, isn't it, game? Oh, so they destroyed one of my power stations. What's... Oh, that's a defunct tank, okay. Ah, oh, crikey. Not helpful. What's the upgrade cost on this? It's not giving me the option to upgrade, so I'm guessing it's going to be about 3,000 credits. Wow. Hmm. I guess we could save up. We can probably make it. Uh, let's check how the harvesters are doing. I haven't heard any worm swallowing. Oh, you're just sitting there. So that's not going to be helpful. Um, I haven't heard any worm swallowing sounds, so that's something. Alright, you go off and harvest that. Fab. Um, it's just these guys to worry about then. I think we'll be able to take them out. Eventually. Yes, sir. Ah, I really don't like these Imperial troops. They are very annoying. How's up? Okay, we're only just meeting our power. Oh, of course. Um, as long as it's the Atreides, I don't mind. So there should be plenty of guys to take these out, except they should be rather slow to fire. But actually the tank should do the job there pretty easily as it's troops on foot. Alright, so let's get you out here. Alrighty, so um, let's see if we can upgrade now. It cost 300. Well, so I should have been able to upgrade before. I wonder why I couldn't. And I thought it would be a, like a really. Because um, if I get like a mobile construction vehicle, right? For 900. I mean, that is a high high cost of, of purchase for a vehicle. But 
Does that mean I can then go and construct stuff anywhere? And how does that mechanic work? Build it, okay. So you, you can move. So if I move you over to, say, here, could you build something over there? Who knows? We can try. Right, next project is definitely power. Um, okay, so, so far, this mission is a, despite the uh, party crashes, has been um, a lot more chill in terms of um, being under attack, because there was a certain point in the last mission where you were just constantly under attack, just wave after wave, um, without, without break, really. Um, but you seem to be breathing spaces in this one, which is interesting. That may just be a random um, property of how this, how this wool. What's happening there? That sounds like gunfire. Okay, that's fine. They can take care of that. These tanks are awesome. I might get some more tanks. How are, the, how are we doing on the uh, the storage front? I think we're good. These things are slow as treacle. Okay, there's still loads of tanks, so that's good. Should eventually, uh, they should eventually be able to take stuff out. A spice harvester, that's a tempting thought, isn't it? But I think another tank for now would be good. I mean, I guess the ideal is just going to be getting loads of tanks, isn't it? Oh, I don't know where that. We haven't looked at what troops we can train. Um, light infantry squad or infantry soldier. Pair structure first. I need upgrade. Okay. Um, interesting. Well, we can get a squad out, but I don't know. Unless what you can do is give um, what was I trying to say? Unless what you can do is give a squad the command to sabotage or infiltrate. I'm not sure how we achieve that, but let's upgrade that while we still have a bit of cash. You can go and harvest over. Oh, thingy's on the way. Great. Well done. Um, and I'll see if I can deploy it. If it can put another construction yard somewhere, we are in business. So, I guess the other... The other thing to do is this, as time rolls on, is to acknowledge that there is a finite amount of spice on any one map. Yes, sir. And, um, ah. Oh, I see, that's what it does. Yes, you get... An entire new construction yard. Ah, now I see. Now I see. Well, that's amazing. So you can you can you can play satellite things. Well, that's pretty incredible, isn't it? All right. Well, so we've got lots of our commands now. This is kind of the level of detail I would have hoped for last time I think um, to give you some flexibility and options Enemy 
So my plan here, uh, my thought is to get a... Oh, you know what, I probably need a power station? Probably need a power station. Um, let's do that first, because that's going to be prudent. Let's get a power station, otherwise I was going to build a spice refinery, that's my, my urge. Okay, we've got about well, 25 minutes to go. Um, don't know, don't know what we can do with that because we're still kind of on the build up my resources stage. Which is fine. How are those harvesters doing? Have I got. Oh, you've already done stuff. Okay. Well, you might as well go hoover up that little bit from the north. Yeah, well, they shouldn't be too much trouble. Um, so there's one there. Is there anything over by the other one? Where is my other one? Oh, up, up north, isn't it? No, so I'm not quite sure where all the harvesters are at. Oh no, no, there are only two. I get confused. There was that one, and there's this one which is chucking away back there. That's fine. Still not as bad as uh, getting confused and attacking your own tank. So I'll, I'm happy to own up to miscounting my harvesters. Right, we should have another one in a sec. Um, so let's pop that. Uh, refinery is where? Is it that? No, that's a silo. This is a refinery. Fantastic, we're already on it. Those tanks are awesome for defense, at least. Um, I guess they'd probably be pretty slow to get to the enemy if I started attacking. Uh, I mean, I don't know if much, anything can be much slower than the trikes, though, and they're supposed to be the fast ones. Great, so what I'm gonna do. Well, we're at the very edge of the map here. Interesting. Um, so I think there's only four squares there, right? Hmm, okay. Um, yeah, I guess what I'll do is I will go construction yard, build this. So this is like a little mobile unit here. So the fact that we've got uh, the ability to put remote units of construction in other places means that we could start pumping out we can keep uh, mining for spice here in the south and we can start sending armed units to build up further and further north um, as a sort of kind of slow and steady military progress which I think is gonna have to be what we do um, and it's actually Quite an exciting prospect. Oh, I can see a, a little bit of uh, hmm, spice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is turn my attention back to tanks, I think, for now. Well, actually, what I could do is um, if I can get a new harvester, yeah, they're not very expensive. Let's get a new harvester out to hoover up some of this spice I can see here. It looks like it might be quite a large deposit. Enemy unit destroyed. Fantastic. Um, yes, so you try 
harvesting up there, but there's quite a few places for it to eventually dock at now. So I think that's a, a good call, probably. Um, and then we're just going to keep, keep churning out the tanks. Um, oh, there's troops I keep thinking about. Let's get into the barracks. I need to repair, do I? Oh, okay. Let's build a light infantry squad. Um, and see if there's any obvious options uh, for when we command. They attack, move, retreat, guard. I wonder if. Hmm. I wonder if I get them to anywhere else that they might. Be able to infiltrate because otherwise I don't know how you do that. Is that tank? Oh, yeah. fantastic! That tank is. Uh, is done. So let's get a tank, um, let's get like a staging post here. And I'll, hello you, would you like to do some harvesting please? Um, it's a bit of a way away but if you go to this bottom area here and harvest up in this corner of the map I think that's what we'll, we'll go for there. Oh, bit of weapons fire there. So that's, oh that's doing well, so we should get some more money coming in soon. You're just sitting idle, not great, not great friend. Um, how about if you go over to this part here. Let's check what this harvest is doing down here, hoovering up around here, 92% full which is fantastic. Alright so while you're going over there. I'm gonna get yes, sir. Enemy unit approaching. that one there. So I might. Uh, how much does it cost to build? I guess they're not. Is it two hundred for one of those and three hundred for a tank? Because for yeah, for 100 more, a tank seems a lot more useful, frankly. So I'm just going to go I'm gonna go for tanks. They may not have the speed, um, but I th everything seems to run at the same slow speed. So we're going to get a new tank, hopefully. Great. Um... How's this doing? Did it build a tank? Was I telling it to build a tank? I thought I was. Build this tank, please. And I want to send one, send one off to our satellite um, refinery, if possible. All right, I think somewhere was just filling us up with money, wasn't it? Or it must be the one over in the corner. That one will probably be alright for a while. Okay, where's this tank? Are you going to show me the tank? There it is, thanks. Yes, Let's go over here. Ooh, worm sign. Sir, I have worm sign. It does, it does sound like a, um, a medical prognosis, doesn't it really? Rather than anything. But there you go. Right, so, oh, there was a little tank. Hans Gruber's little tank. Let's pump out an exploratory trike, shall we? Maybe a quad? Maybe a quad. It might last a little bit longer. Let's build that. So I'm hoping we're going to get some harvest in soon. 40%. We should be able to. Alright, exploratory trike. 
I think it's time to start pressing uh, north slightly. Um, have I got the resources for one of these? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. It's the most expensive thing, but it's it just blows the game wide open. That thing. I feel like I've got a ghost of a chance in this round, whereas last round was a uh, a real doozy. There's the, there are these guys, 53 and 76, they're doing alright. Um, yes, okay, so you hold there for a bit. Um, while yes, this one ventures north a bit. We'll see if there's some rock that we could deploy on. This looks like someone we could deploy. Definitely somewhere we could deploy. Enemy unit destroyed. Yeah, that's quite a large area. Okay. So let's get yep. you over to here. We're gonna get this tank up here too. And we're gonna get, if we got money coming in a little bit, we could definitely get another tank out, couldn't we? And still be pretty safe in resources. Um, let's see if there's any harvesters hanging around waiting for something to do. There are. Um, I think over here is actually the way to go because there's quite a lot over there. Great. Is there one still? It's fantastic they do the the AI. It's not great at finding paths, but behaviorally, it's not it's not too bad. They're great at remembering where they were heading before, and kind of attacking on their way. Um, so there's there's kind of a semblance of of reality there. Bearing in mind this was a game from 1992 as well, it does seem, um, it probably doesn't seem very advanced by modern standards, but I think for the time, it would have felt um, kind of very adaptive and responsive, really. Great, so the plan here is to deploy you, um, oh, you just deploy on the spot, that's fine, just deploy on the spot. <laughs> I'll learn that one day. Um, right, so let's upgrade. Let's get another... Yes, we can definitely get another tank on the go. So I guess the trouble is going to be if we've got multiple bases defending those multiple bases, but at the same time... Right, I think we should have that tank now. Is that correct? We do. Fantastic. That's going to come up north to this little island that we're building. So I don't know this mobile construction yard. What what can we actually put out there straight away? Can we go straight for the heavy vehicle factory? We can. Ooh. I'll put a power station first, I think. I'm going to get this, actually. Are they going to... Ooh, they seem to be... What are they doing? 
confused. Oh, well, they're destroyed anyway. Um, right, let's get a. power station going. Um, the I do find the, the game play on like a um, action by action basis quite absorbing. It's quite easy to um, invest time in the game. Um, but I do I do find myself longing for a, a kind of a, a shorter burn kind of round. Um, it's the length of time it takes to. Oh, actually, no, that's good. The tank draws them away. It's very handy. Um, what was I saying? The length of time it. Oh, that tank's now getting there. Fantastic. Um, the length of time it takes to get through a mission, especially as um, the complexity is increasing. Um, I found um, means that you you are playing for a very long time. It's a very slow build to get to where you need to be in terms of resources, which is is absolutely fine. Um, it's just um, I find myself longing for something um, going a little bit faster, um, but that's just not not how this plays. Okay, well. Okay, so tanks are a little bit slow to respond. Uh, okay, so I think we've got everything we need to build one of these, please. So let's go check on um, harvesters because it's probably going to be some sitting idly by. Yes, there are quite a few sitting idly by. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's get some over here, as we've got a presence over here. Um, can I build this? We suppose we can start pumping out our own tanks on site. That would be very useful indeed. Kind of blocked your path there, didn't I? Are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Let's upgrade that. Oh, Emperor, you are very, very frustrating. How's the, uh, how's the spice? Oh, the spice over here is okay. Oh, we're getting filled up from there, which is great. So that one can go over there. And have we got any other, I don't think we've got any other idols, have we? What's this one do? I think it's on its way to do that. I think we're good. Or is that on its way to... Oh my goodness! You are... Absolutely... The worst. Get one of these up up here, couldn't I? Yes, sir. You, you're on the way. Fantastic. Can I build that? So I shouldn't really have to deal with attacks from uh, airlifts from a, another party. I don't think. I feel like that's. A rather unfair extra element to add into the mix. So, are you guys? Are you attacking? Where? Where are my tanks? I keep building. I'm very confused. Where is this harvester that's been deployed? All right. You come and harvest over here too. Why not? That should help a bit with this state of affairs. 
These guys, ah, they're tough. They are tough. They are supposed to be the toughest troopers, though. So that's fair. Um, I don't know where all the tanks are that I'm supposed to be building. Do they just not, do they not keep coming? Are they all under this thing? No, I don't know where they... Can I not build it? Repair. Build it. And I would create more. Oh. I've reached my tank limit for the level. Is that what you mean? Oh. Well, that's not very helpful, is it? Because I was kind of relying on tanks to be. I'm not. Not keen on these vehicle limits, to be honest. It should be up to me. Well, I can build. It was a waste of time then, wasn't it? Uh, I can build these things. I can't create any more quads! I've got as many vehicles as I can have. What about trikes? Can I build that? No! I've got as many, you have many vehicles as you will let me have. Yep. Well, blow it then. Let's go an all out assault. Um, so I think they're kind of up here, actually. That was my feeling. Oh. I feel disappointed and a little betrayed by this game at this point. Is if I I don't think there's anywhere that you can find an upfront limit on how many you can build of a thing, and apparently there's like a sum total limit on vehicles that you can build, which is um, not great in my opinion. Alright, um, so what I'll try and do is I'll try and get some tanks up there slowly but surely. Um, and this settlement can kind of be a bit of a, a sacrifice to that. Um, we might as well get that one up there as well. I'll set them on their way and then we'll check the, um, the Mentat logs and information. Uh, to see see what we can get there um, see if there's any information about you can only build so many vehicles a day let's have a look so for example tank where's tank combat tank What's a carry all? Combat tank, ability tracked, firepower heavy. The slow single barrel tank is adequate in its performance. However, there are much faster and more efficient tanks available. Uh, probably not to me, though, I'd expect. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I still don't know how to capture anywhere, which is interesting. Okay, I'm going to have a little sip of water while that's uh, doing its thing. I'll pause the game for a sec. There we go. Um, back in just a moment. Okay, remember to unmute. That's always a good start. And then continue the game. That might just take a second. So there's definitely a lot of vehicle action around here. The, uh, that's fine. Uh, so I think this is... Aha, there we go. Attack uh, whatever that is. That looks like a power station. Let's go for that. Alright. You, hello. Come up here. Please do come and attack this power station. Thanks. So, 
I, yeah, I'm feeling a bit disappointed at this point, frankly. That I can't build anything new. Even though I've got a newly built construction yard that hadn't done anything. Oh, these tanks do damage so much faster. Yeah, that's fine. You can destroy that. I'll keep you busy for a while, won't it? Um, I'm not quite sure where your other stuff is, but let's go for that too. Let's focus firepower on one thing if we can. Um... Yeah, so I guess this is going to be a failure run, but it's been an interesting one. Oh, something probably just got swallowed by a a sandworm somewhere, which is always nice. Plenty of money coming in, which I don't mind. Okay, they haven't repaired that yet, which is good. Yeah, sure. It kind of doesn't matter at this point, does it? I wonder if you can, once things are destroyed, you can build a few more. You can! Okay, so there's just a total of... Gotcha. So there's a sum total that you can have on the map at any one time, and I'd reached it. Got it. Hello, little tank. So I guess we're just going to keep pumping tanks out now. I could do some kind of some repairs there and some repairs there. Why not? We keep pumping out tanks while we still can. Alright, you come up here and attack. Okay, so the time is kind of when I would expect the stream to end, but once again I'm caught up in the... Oh, why are you over there? Did I send you to attack that? Sure, attack their barracks, why not? While you're there. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep going for a little bit longer just to see how all this stuff plays out, I think. I don't know if, um... I don't know if I'm going to play too much longer. I don't know how... what my chances are of success here, really. Um, I suppose what I'll do is I'm trying to... I'll try and be a responsible player. I'll go back down here. I will check out how stuff's doing back at home. Um, see if uh, the harvesters need redirecting. They certainly do. Um, there's definitely some spice over there. So let's get you over there. Let's get you over. There's still some spice over here by any chance? It kind of is. All right. Well, that's that's not bad. So that little satellite is actually... Oh, and you're over there. That little satellite is fairly safe. And as long as that's going, um, a going concern, we're going to be in the game still, which is really handy. So let's uh, build another one of those. We'll check what's going on up north. What's that doing? Okay. Attack that, please. And you attack that, please. If you can. Maybe move over there. Can you move over there? Thanks. 
and then you attack that. Alright, time to build another tank, I think. Just gonna keep repairing these just to just to annoy that one quad that's there attacking everything. All right, you know, you go do what you're going to do. Let's build another one of these. This one here attacking those is, is um, it's just really handy. Got loads of cash. I've got oh, like a single troop there. You can move up here. Join your buddy there. Ah. That's how I feel sometimes. Is that the famous Wilhelm scream? I don't know. I don't know it to recognise it. Oh, no, don't do that. Um, move to there. That's what I want you to do. To keep taking that. And that's... Yeah, we're getting there. So it's a lot, it's a lot more expedient to attack bases with tanks than it is with the light vehicles, which makes sense. Um, but it's still not a... Particularly easy process. Alright, let's check for any harvesters. Do the harvester check. No, we're good. Over here. Harvesters, they're busy, which is good. Sounded like something being destroyed, which is not great. I got a tank. Fab. Right, you come up here. Is they destroying all of my... Well, they might get there eventually. As long as it keeps some of them busy, I don't, don't much mind, to be honest. going if we can. I think this is going alright. I might get to a point where this this is the, the kind of situation where you can easily be going for another another hour frankly. So I want to get to a point where I'll save it and we'll continue next time perhaps. Oh, there's a sandworm around, I think. Oh, nice. My tank's gone, but so is their power station, which is really good. So if you move over, I don't know where the construction yard is. Can you move to here, please? Fine, actually. Um, and you, can you move up here too, please? Can you move up here too? With there aren't so many of those tanks, that might get a few rounds off before the tanks attack. Um, okay. Um, oh, I can move one of these tanks too. Tank battle in the middle there. I kind of like the, the, the when it gets to this level of complexity, there are like little little war stories going on all around, which is a, a kind of a cool aspect of the the process of playing. Just uh, it's just a very lengthy thing really, which is fine. But eventually, you kind of need to change your posture, stretch, speak to loved ones. Um, eat, sleep, you know, things like that. Check for harvesters. There's one. Um, did I see har things to harvest over here? Yeah, go for that. Why not? 
Oh, was that a, a tank? That was a tank. All right. Tank. I think my house might have got eaten by a worm, but I'll go back and check that in a bit. It's entirely possible, you know. Are oh, these tanks doing? Are they on their way? I think they're on their way, just very slowly. Is that or they got swallowed by um, sandworms, which is also entirely possible. Alrighty. Um, keep building tanks then. So the spice is flowing into my coffers, which is nice. That one will be deployed in a minute. I'm enjoying that particular aspect. Fab. All right, you move. Oh no, sorry. You... No, sorry. You move up here. Oh, somebody. Somebody didn't make it. Oh yeah, so these guys, they're not really making it up there at the moment. Come on, brave little tank. Is that, that looks like a construction yard, attack that. Okay, so now I know there's a construction yard to aim for. Um, we can try and get that. Oh, when the, t hang on, when there's a... Uh, can get in that, oh, okay. Interesting, I wonder what that's all about. I still haven't found a way to sabotage or infiltrate or whatever we're supposed to do. So I'm going to keep blowing stuff up. If um, if anybody's watching and does know how you infiltrate and whether I'm supposed to be able to at this point, um, I yeah, welcome some advice on that. It'd be very handy to know. I mean, I can crack the manual open, I suppose, but I'm mid-flow. And the manual might not tell me anyway, because manuals can be like that. Right, more harvesting over. Oh, hang on, there's still quite a lot over here that we didn't do. Let's get that. Oh, what's the little middle island doing? I haven't looked at that in a while. It's not really under attack, which is interesting. Oh, there's that thing, which is just kind of sitting there doing its own, own thing, which is interesting. Um, maybe if this one goes and attacks that just to keep it busy so it's occupied. We'll check up north. What are our friends in the north doing? Um, okay, the tanks are not really making it there, which is interesting. I guess they're taking so long to get there that it's um, not really an issue. Check for this is you kind of get into a routine actually once you get into a certain part of the game. You're just basically uh, checking all your hot spots. That's what you end up doing. Oh, hello! I need to look at that power station in a sec. Nice. Let's get one right up there. Ooh. Oh, that's a light factory. That's a six. Oh, that's probably the heavy vehicle. Okay, so I still found the construction yard, I don't think. Interesting. Oh, and they put a new power station in, which is fair enough because um, they've probably got the resources to do that. Oh, yeah, power station. Who are we talking about? That up. I don't know if that adds power to the general complex. Probably does. Alrighty, let's just keep sending stuff out. I think, yeah, so it's quarter past. I think I'll do a couple more tanks and send them on their way. Uh, save the game in its current state and we'll. We'll leave it for another time at that point, I think. 
but otherwise this this could definitely go on for like another hour or so and uh and I do do some other other things in life unfortunately oh they've repaired everything that's a shame yeah so it's gonna take quite a force of stuff to get up there isn't it I mean I guess I could flood it with um like if I go for the trikes which are supposed to be fast I guess they might be marginally faster than tanks I could get a few of those out some more harvesting up here sure why not so it's going up here so where's the limit of our line of sight? If I can get one of those up there, that'd probably be pretty good. Is the harvester deployed somewhere? Where's that harvester? We've got loads of cash, by the way. Rolling in it. Um, but sadly, there's a limit to what we can build at any one time. Um, this one? one. Oh, okay, that was... I'd given up at 5%, which is fair enough. Um, right. Uh, harvest. I think you're going to come over here? Yeah, you come over there. That'll do. So these guys can work that area. Um, what did I say I was doing? Building, building stuff? Ooh, that sounds like I've probably lost a few buildings. Did I lose a few buildings? Ooh, I'm in trouble, for sure. Which is fine. I don't mind that they're on the way to those buildings. Um, what's going on up here? Okay, I've got a couple of a couple of things in place, which is nice. Ah, oh, nice. That was one I told to get there. Okay, can you attack that one? Oh, I've got the chance. And can you attack that one? Oh, I've got the chance. Because that would be a useful thing to get rid of. I think their construction yard is there, so I've got to shoot my way through to it. Pretty much. So actually, you, could you move through to there? Because that would be really useful, actually. Oh, nice. We're nearly, nearly taken out. Fab, and then can you attack that one? So I think there's a silo there, and then the construction yard is in the middle of their complex, which is uh, sensible. Oh, now I'm excited, and I want to keep going because I I can smell smell the uh, the wind of victory. Does victory make a wind? That's what I'm thinking now I said that. Maybe. Um, let's just put it there to distract everybody a bit. Um, well, there's quite a few tanks I've made. I'm hoping all that gunfire that we can hear is from this area and not where I am. The light factory's doing okay. That one's nearly gone. That's fine. The uh, Once again, the uh, the fastest vehicles, the trikes, don't seem to be that fast. I don't, I'm not really sure where the one is I sent up. It's just, still just there. Ah, okay. It is my base because the Imperial troops have turned up. Of course they have. Right. Can you run these over? Because if you can, that's certainly what we're going to do. Yep. Well, that's what we're doing. Ah. 
goodness sake. Get harvesting while we're waiting. Blooming things, right. Just an annoyance at this point. Right, you're gonna get squished. So hopefully that will teach you. Good. Oh, it's one there, so let's move this up. No. Well, actually, getting out of there might be helpful. And I can get another one building. Get another one building. Let's see what's happening up here. These things are still on their way. Wow. I mean, they're not great, are they? Alright, so I should have these, so I'm going to get these up here as well. I'm going to get... the trike here to kind of draw some fire, hopefully. And the tank... It'd be so great if you could um, batch select. Not that tank, I don't think. Anyway. I'm not sure what tank it would have been. Um, batch select uh, units, so you can send them to the same place or get them to attack the same place, but I don't think you can, unless I'm mistaken. I could be mistaken. Great, so you're going to attack that, please, which is still taking damage, which is fab. So I don't think the light vehicle made it there, which is interesting. Uh, so that's, that's the tank that's always been... Ah, there's a tank! Alright, so you can come up here. I might try and get you... to get here? I don't know if that's possible, but if it is, we'll, we'll try it. Oh yeah. The tanks do a good amount of damage, which I like. Um, get another one. Get another one. Great. So you, can you move up here? Uh, here. Oh, okay, there's nobody here. Watch what happened there. And then... So I am sending a tank up there, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Uh, and you, can you move up here too? Can you try and move up here, say? Oh, right, that got destroyed. Did a little bit of damage there, which is good. Okay, that's still got quite a lot of damage. Yes, sir. I'm going to try and get you to attack there if I can. Yes, sir. I'm just going to get you to try and attack there as well. Um, let's get rid of the barracks. No, sorry, the light. Oh, they built a heavy one. Get rid of the light factory would be good. With the heavy factory would be better. You've got to kind of uh, get going at a certain rate to monopolise on advantages, and that just is very time-consuming. All right, let's check on. Oh, these harvesters are sitting idle again. You're going there. There's probably going to be stuff over here. Is there going to be stuff over here? Maybe. Uh, let's try 
there. We'll give, we'll just give it a try. Um, these places are doing fine. What's going on up north? Okay. Yeah. Oh, poor soldier. Did you see that? They went just after they got exploded out of their tank. Alright, so build it, build it time. Any more harvesters hanging around? Probably. Yeah, there's one. Uh, Oh, there's, so there's, we know there's stuff over here, don't we? So we'll go for that. And you, I thought I'd asked you to go somewhere already. Did I not do that? Or maybe you're a different one. Never mind. I think you're going to be fine anyway, whatever you choose to do. Um, let's move some tanks. I think all the explosions are still coming from up north, as far as I can tell. Oh, they are, for sure. Yeah, so you just keep going like this for for hours, really. Um, unless there's a more expedient way to play that I um, I haven't really found yet. Yeah, I guess it takes so long to go up and down that your rhythm could be, perhaps, tell something to go up. Scroll down. I guess I could scroll down like that more efficiently now. Yeah, probably. I might try that. Um, get a round of build it's going. And then in the meantime, move that one up here. Sure, I'm trying to get it into that space. I don't know if that will work, but we'll try. And then... Oh, uh, you know what? This is a bit faster than me pressing the the old keys, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah, you know what? I prefer this. It's kind of eerily quiet, which is not not a great sign. Um, I think that's good. We'll just wait for... Oh, hang on. We're at maximum, aren't we? That's why. Alright, we'll just wait for those to do what they're doing. I've got more money than I know what to do with, which is not helpful. I could build a silo. That's true. I could build a silo. Should we do that? Why not? For fun, let's build a silo. Um, over here, why not? Construction complete. Well, you know what we could build. Construction. Yeah, so I think, yeah, it definitely is time for me to end the stream. So what I'm going to do is, uh, Build a new um, refinery if I can find one. Yep. Oh, hello. What? What was that? Okay, I don't think that was a building. That's good. I was worried that the Imperial troops had turned up again, as they seem to be want to do. That and check on the power. We're good for power. Um, build 
and what I'm going to build a concrete slab. I'll just check on the old uh, fire situation over here. How's that? That life factory is still oh, okay. Not doing great. Can you move? Hang on, why are they they getting airlifts? What's all that about? Not a fan of that. Uh, a slab, thanks. And then a ooh, a four slab. Come on, I'm gonna get this construction done, and then we'll. We'll be uh, we'll be out of here. Uh, silo, that ah, silo. Thanks. Construction complete. Great. Okay, there's some explosions close to home, but I think we're I think we're good. All right, let's get more of those units going. Whoa, was that there? One of their structures, please. I don't think it was one of their structures. Oh, that's alarming, isn't it? Was it one of my structures? Usually, the screen only shakes for building explosions, which is not. Anything over here that I need to worry about? No, not really. Well, I'm confused. Alrighty, uh, let's just uh, send a few orders out. Harvest what's left. There's a little bit left there. And tanks move. Oh, hang on, I've reverted to the keys. Out of habit. Um, yeah, I don't know what was destroyed there that was so uh, shattering and shaking. There's always an enemy unit approaching, don't worry about it. You sound so stressed. Um, yeah, build it, build it. So when those two units appear, I'm saving, I'm stopping for today, and that'll be a stream. I think, yeah, great. So let's save the game. So I think there's a good chance that we could win this mission. I think also that the game lets you get a long way into something before it gets to an untenable position for you, or a clearly untenable position for you. Um, so that's kind of, I guess the part of the peril of playing is that you could invest, like we have, probably like two hours um, into this, um, only to be ultimately uh, defeated. Um, right, well that that's gonna be it for, for today's stream. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I hope it's been interesting to have a look at um, Dune 2. This kind of, I think there's nine stages in all, no matter who you pick. Um, I think, and they follow the same general uh, mission sequence. Um, so this is kind of a bit like the middle of the game. I guess next, when you get to the next one, you're halfway through. Um, so I hope that's been interesting to watch. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I plan, still plan to stream again next Wednesday. Um, it might might be June. It might be June again. Um, at some point, I'm going to switch to um, to a different game. I think. Um, but I'm kind. I I find it easy to keep playing, but also not really not that fun, which is an odd odd combination. I find. Um, yeah, once you're into it, it's easy to keep going. But you want to keep pushing that a little bit further. But um, 
overall as a process I don't find it that satisfying um, even when I'm successful uh, especially as it's such a such a slog to get there but hopefully breaking this into parts will will help a bit so we'll we'll see I'll, I'll, it probably will be June 2 next time if not I'll have something hopefully equally interesting to to show you um, until then take care and I hope you have a lovely week bye bye